In this session, we will discuss about topographic calculation by using image data set. You can see today we are, we are to talk about um, how we are um, calculation you no know, aspect contour, cut, curvature, cut fill, hillside and slope from the image data set. Okay, let's go for the RGAs. In this analysis, we need the 3D analyst extension. Uh, you go for to the catalog window. From the catalog window, you can see the um, 3D analyst. From the uh, 3D analysis, you go to go for the raster surface. From the raster surface, I go to first I go to generate the slope of the so uh, elevation of the slope here click it then input raster must be filled DTM then where the output you go to save it I am using the here slope save then if you want to uh, mama, Use the whether it is an uh, output measurement is a degree or percentage. I am using the percentage wise rise on the web plan. I, I am using the planner method. Z factor I can use 3, maximum you can use Z factor 1 to 5, but I am using the 3 here. Then OK. Okay, this is the slope of the particular image data set. If it is a gray is lowest slope area, this red, red one is the highest slope area um, more than 299 percentage present in the in the area. Okay, let's go for the other hill shade. You just click the hill shade. Then input raster must be filled at DTM and output is select your respective data hill, hill share save. Other than the optional, you can use 33 to 10. You can use then altitude, you can use 60. Then the Z pack that I am interested in too. Then OK. Now still processing the hillside image. Okay, this is a hillside from the 0 to 254. You can change the color shade pattern. You can observe this is the highest shaded area. This lowest standard area. Okay, let's go for other one is uh, contour. How we can generate the contour from the image data set? Just click the contour. Input must be a um, full DM. Output I am saving my respective directory contour. Then see. Them. I am interested in interval in uh, 2 300 then base contour I can use the 0 z factor I can use it 2 then contour type whether you can use the polygon or line or shell I am using the line then give it the ok still processing the contour here After the processing, the contour already generated now. You can categorize the contour here. Double click, then go to the simplify categories. Uh, you categorize the contour, then RD values. You can see the uh, 300 meter contour intervals. Interval must be at 300. I used. 
then you can select the color shape ok apply ok this is the contour image of the Oramia zone we did look at this uh, this uh, yellow based yellow based is the highest topography area we look at this uh, green and the brownish color this uh, green and brownish color is a plain area which has in the lowest elevated area present in the Oramia zone ok let's go for the curvature select the raster data set then select your working directory then save it then jet vector again is 2 ok you can see that this is this one is a curvature image if you look at the minus is the lowest value if you look at the 7.53 here curvature value is more this is not weight and part this the curvature area is more ok let's all the suppose we want to generate the aspect of the area click the raster then output directory aspect save it then ok But this is the aspect what is what are the direction of the raster layer is changing it's the aspect image of the particular area like this you got to calculate all the raster surface by using this 3d and uh, by using the 3d analysis toolbar thanks for watching my video